So Romans chapter 1, verses 14 and 16. I am a debtor both to the Greeks and to the barbarians, both to the wise and to the unwise. So we just see the attachment of the wise being the Greeks. They're uncircumcised Hebrews, but they're considered wise. And the barbarians who are outside of the culture, they're considered unwise. And then we continue. So that's the barbarians. Romans 1 16, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Ah, so here we have it, Paul saying it's the gospel of Christ, it's the power of salvation to everyone that believeth. And then he names a couple of groups, the Jew first and also the Greek. Now I note that Paul is a debtor. He says, my obligation, my obligation was to the Greeks, the wise, and the barbarians, the unwise. But wait a minute. He doesn't speak of the salvation of the barbarians. He speaks of the Jew and of the Greek. Well, what about the barbarians? Aren't, isn't Paul going to come and preach to them? Well, because the barbarian was a non-Hellenic and did not speak Greek or Latin, he was an illiterate person, and the Jews spoke Hebrew, Greek, and Latin. So you might remember that when Christ was crucified, the sign that was put up on the cross was in three languages. Mm -hmm. What were those three languages? Hebrew, Greek, and Latin. So my comment here is, and this is this is this is also this is going to be this is be very difficult. I will be laughed to scorn, but this is this is <laughs> this is what we see here. Paul preached to scripturally literate Hebrew Greeks. He preached to Timothy, Titus, and Trophimus. Trophimus. That's <laughs> again. <laughs> Trophimus. He speak to those, they were Hebrews, and they were literate in the scriptures, but they were of Greek culture. So they lived outside of the community of the Jews. 2 Timothy 3.15. How do I know that Timothy was scripturally literate? 2 Timothy 3.15. And that from a child, thou Timothy has known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. So we're we're edging up now to how Paul was able through the, the through these men who were of the body of Christ. These were the soldiers to to Paul, who was their apostle. How the word got to the barbarians. It came to the barbarians through those that had the wisdom and the ability now to communicate to the barbarians. The Hebrew Greek, who is the wise, were the ones to convey Paul's gospel to the barbarian, the unwise. So where am I? Well, I hate to admit it, but I'm of the group. They were barbarians. My folks uh, came out of Armenia. They did not speak Hebrew. They did not speak Greek. They did not speak Latin. They spoke Armenian. It was like in virtually impossible to communicate with them. And so it was it was the work of these men going beyond where Paul had gone to reach and to spread the gospel of Christ for salvation. So the wise, communicating to the unwise. Okay, so that brings me to the conclusion of this topic here about the Greek and the Grecian and also the barbarian. So we see now there are multiple groups here. And I have identified myself, sad to say, but it's true, I'm of the barbarians. So that's the, that's the reality. But fortunately, because the work was done, the gospel came to us 
and it was eventually it was communicated it was believed and salvation came 